Hey everybody, this is Chris with Offset, and today we're going to be talking about stealth classes in Black Ops 3. Now, the gameplay in front of you is me running my personal favorite stealth class in a free-for-all game. That class that you're seeing is going to be the M8A7 with a stock, suppressor, long barrel, ghost, scavenger, dead silence, and awareness. Now, this isn't the only possible stealth class you can run, it's just my own personal favorite. I've chosen the stock because I simply like the stock on all of my weapons. If it can have a stock, I'm going to put a stock on there. The suppressor is obviously necessary for a stealth class. It's one of the biggest things that keeps you off the minimap and lets you sneak up on opponents. And the long barrel is to actually offset the range reduction from the suppressor. The suppressor in this game is far worse than it was in previous Call of Duties in that it reduces the range of your gun by a dramatic amount so it is kind of necessary to try and make up for that at least a little bit with long barrel. Now on the same note I've chosen the M8A7 because again the range reduction from the suppressor is so large that I can't really put it on a weapon that has a really reduced range. Um, to that note suppressors work really well on sniper rifles but then they don't work nearly as well on shotguns or some machine guns or even some of the assault rifles with much reduced range. In terms of perks, Ghost is obviously a must have. Again, like the Suppressor, this is what makes this a stealth class. You stay off the minimap as often as possible. But again, like the Suppressor, Ghost is not as good as it's been in previous Call of Duties. If you notice in that gameplay in front of you on the minimap, my little yellow Dorito or Triangle is only going into Ghost mode when I'm sprinting. As soon as I stop to ADS or get in a firefight or reload, I'm back on the minimap. It's full yellow, but it's still really useful. You still sprint a lot in this game, and if you pay attention to when there are and are not enemy UAVs, you can do a really good job of still sneaking up on them with Ghost despite its reduced effectiveness. Now, in perk 3 is where you really start coming into a decision. Now, Dead Silence, I think, is going to be necessary in most stealth classes. The audio in this game, the footsteps, are very, very noticeable and very, very useful for hearing and knowing opponents are coming. So you're going to want to run Dead Silence to enable you to still sneak up on enemies while running the Suppressor and Ghost, because those things aren't going to be very useful if the enemy just hears you coming a mile away with the footsteps. Now, that brings us to the choice of Awareness versus Blast Suppressor. Now, Blast Suppressor makes the most sense at first because it keeps you off the minimap just like Ghost does. It allows you to boost around a little bit and still stay off the minimap. However, Awareness is simply amazing in this game, particularly when combined with Dead Silence. If you get a moment, I'd like you to listen to the gameplay and hear exactly where the enemies are coming from. You can tell precisely where the enemies are, where they're coming from, and that really helps me get an advantage on my opponents. Now, hopefully you can hear that difference and understand why I chose Awareness over the Blast Suppressor. Because I can just go through the map and you'll notice I'm not using my boosts or my slides unless I absolutely have to. That's because I know I don't have Blast Suppressor and I want to keep myself off that mini-map. Meanwhile, I'm listening intently for footsteps and reloads and emotes with Awareness so that I know when my enemies are coming up and I can get the jump on them. Now, I chose Scavenger because, especially in a free-for-all mode, ammunition does become an issue, so Scavenger is really important. If you're not a big fan of Scavenger, or you don't want it, or you're not feeling you're getting use out of it, you can substitute that for any number of things. You could get an optic on your weapon. You could get cold-blooded or fast hands. That works, however. You'd like it to. Now, the other thing I'd like to note is that when you're running a stealth class, you also have to adjust your gameplay. I already mentioned that I'm not boosting around a lot because I know I don't have Blast Suppressor. But also take notice that I'm ADSing around all of my corners. I'm doing a pretty good job there of not sprinting constantly into enemy fire. I'm slowing down, I'm methodically going through the map, I'm being very deliberate with the routes I take and the direction I go. I'm paying attention to my own mini-map, particularly when I have a UAV active, so that I know where the enemies are even though they have no idea where I am. This gives me the advantage in most of these situations. 
And while, of course, I do get the, people get the jump on me quite a few times in this video, it's still a lot of my kills are a direct result of running this stealth class and paying attention with awareness. So just to sum this up, I would recommend running a stealth class with an assault rifle so that you can offset the range reduction of the suppressor as quickly as possible. I highly recommend running dead silence and awareness and simply avoiding using your boosters as often as you can. And then ghost is of course required because you want to stay off that minimap as often as possible. I hope this helped. Please enjoy the rest of the gameplay and we'll see you next time on Opset. Rider neutralized. Assault unit down. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Work's gone. They're done. Was it's the doing I enjoy.